Hey everyone, and welcome to my first sort of experimental question and answer video, where I take subjects and questions as provided by my supporters on Patreon.com, and I try and answer them and discuss them uh, in a public video that everybody can watch and everybody can learn from. Now, the first two topics I got to talk about were both topics that actually have quite a lot to be said about them. And while I still only have a small number of uh, supporters on Patreon, I'm going to basically do a video for each one of these questions. The first thing I was asked to cover was to explain the differences between the step, end step, and begin step events inside of GameMaker, and when you should use each one. Um, before I get into that in detail, I think it's probably a good idea for me to explain a bit about events and event order in general. Now as we know, events in GameMaker are the X part of the if X happens then do Y approach that GameMaker uses to fundamentally understand your game. This involves anything that could generally happen throughout the course of your game, such as an object being made, destroyed, uh, the user inputting with the mouse or the keyboard, an alarm ticking over, a collision occurring, etc. Every single frame of your game, these events are checked to see if they're happening, and if they are happening, any actions associated with them will be carried out. The step event is a special type of event whose actions will trigger every single frame of your game as long as your object continues to simply exist. This makes it incredibly useful for any kind of looping or continuous action in your game. Now, there are three different kinds of step event. There is the begin step event, the step event itself, and the end step event. Now, these events all work in the same way, in which they are triggered every single frame of your game, and don't rely on anything external happening other than the object existing in the room. But the way they differ is in terms of exactly when during each frame these events are triggered, and in order to understand that we need to look at the order of events in general. When a room is entered for the first time, a series of events are always processed in the same order, and that's the create event of every object in the room, followed by the instance creation code of each instance, followed by the game start event if it's the very first room of your game, uh, the room creation code, and the room start event of any instances in the room. Now, after this, every frame of your game, events are going to be processed in a certain order. This order might vary in small ways as GameMaker develops over time, but the begin step event, the normal step event, and the end step event will always occur at the same times in every frame. The begin step event occurs right at the very, very beginning of every single frame, and then after the begin step event has been processed, uh, that's when the alarm events, the keyboard events, all your input stuff like your mouse, your keyboard stuff, uh, that's all processed after the begin step event. After all the alarms, keyboard, and mouse events are processed, that's when the normal step event is processed. So by the time the normal step event occurs, we know that all of our alarm events have triggered, and we know that all of our uh, keyboard and mouse events have also triggered in all of the objects in our room. Now, immediately after the normal step event, that's when instances are actually set to their new positions, especially if you're using something like H-speed and V-speed and stuff like that. That's when your objects are actually set to their new positions based on all of these variables, and they have to be so that the collision events can then occur. So after the normal step events, your instances are set to the new positions, and then the collision events um, are all checked and processed. And then after your collision events are all checked and processed, that's when the end step event occurs. So your end step event occurs after objects are set to their new positions, and after collision events occur. And then after the end step event, the only thing left to do, which will always happen at the end of every frame, is the draw event, so that all of the results of your various events and actions are actually rendered to the screen. Now there are lots of different examples I could give of when using the begin step, normal step, and end step could be important. It mostly just comes down to the order in which you need your code to be executed. One example I can give to illustrate this point that actually catches a lot of people out is when people want an object to follow another object and so during the step event they will set the x and y coordinate of their object to equal that of another object in their room. Now this doesn't work as they expect sometimes and they find that the object seems to lag behind and just seems to be usually like a single frame behind where it should be in terms of following the object. 
Now this is because what GameMaker is doing is setting one object to be in the same position as the other object at the same time that it's trying to process the new position for the first object if the object was moving around. Therefore the object that's trying to follow the other object is receiving old information all the time and is usually about a frame behind. The way to get around this is to have the following object set its position during the end step event meaning it will set its coordinates after we can be sure that the object that it's following has already moved. So as you can see, how you use these events just comes down to whenever you need to do something in a very specific order or at a very specific timing during a frame of your game. The order in which events are processed in GameMaker is very worth keeping in mind whenever something in your game doesn't seem to be happening quite in the way you would expect. If in doubt about which step event to use, most of the time the normal step event is the go-to choice.